en route to the world-famous Calgary Stampede, but getting in the cowboy spirit is easier said than done. Joel's lost his cell phone case ID and his credit card. I feel like an utterly fake cowboy. But it's out of my price range. <laughs> Who cares? Let's just go have some fun. Okay, well, Joel has closed the passion play, which means it's time for our next adventure. How do you feel? I'm sad. Three weeks, nine shows. Yeah, a lot of work goes into that, eh? Mm -hmm. After spending the last five weeks in Drumheller, it is time for us to pack up and move on to our next gig. But of course, easier said than done. Joel's lost his cell phone case, but also has his ID and his credit card. Um, we can't find it. However, the van is a really small place. I think we would have found it in the van if it wasn't here. Did you check the laundry? Did you empty it entirely? I think it's probably on the passion play stage. Okay, so here's the thing. Joel is an incredibly smart person, but with every single smart person, there's a little bit of kryptonite. What's Joel's kryptonite? He loses things. So now we're going up to the crucifixion hill to go and see if maybe he left it there when he was filming. It'd be the perfect spot to find it. If it was a lost and found, you would have thought for sure that they would have um, clocked it was yours. You know? All things considering, it has your driver's license in it. This is the first time I've ever been backstage. Is that your phone case? I knew it was going to be up here. I knew it was where you went out filming. Who didn't I tell you? Well, maybe I am as good as your mom. I might not have 40 years of experience, but you know, maybe, you know, just having the title of wife. Hmm, I have some intuition into these things. Having fun gloating? We are on the move and I'm so excited. I don't know, it's just neat to be doing something new now. That's the best part about van life. You're never in one spot forever. Oh gosh, I don't think I could ever live a normal life again. Anyways, we're plumb out of water and we're completely filled with the uh, the gray water paint. So, I mean, she is leaking. That's how filled we are. So it's time to get all up. Cruising down the prairies back to Calgary for the stampede. Eat on the dashboard of my family's life. Ain't that a country song for you? You want feet that's going to get me in my dress. You gotta get my feet in the shop. My feet are the sexy feet. Come on, just look at that sandal tan. No, babe, your feet look like hobbit's feet. Hobbit's feet? Rude. Really hobbit's feet. Excuse me. Tell me, comment below if you think these are sexy. Ew, nobody wants to do that. I'll show you a pair of my feet so then you can, so then you can compare. I'm sexy and I know it. A, a pair of your feet? <laughs> like you have a couple of different pairs? We are back in the city. I'm gathering my gear for my stilt gig. Here we go. Okay, what is this? Costumes. What are those? Boots. Again, it's got all the skills, I'm telling you. I don't even want to look back there. I know it's going to stress me out because I know I'm going to look at it and be like, I got no space in my house. <sighs> it's like way too early. Joel woke me up at six and I thought I didn't have to move until seven. But I'm off to do some stilt walking for the Calgary Stampede. It's like the one gig in the entire world where artists have to be up early. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a gig for cowboys. <laughs> so getting ready. These are all Stampede days. I'll be here on Stephen Out. And I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Bye. Last year, Joel learned how to professionally walk on stilts and ever since has found gigs that bring people happiness. What are those for? 
fall. In case I fall. <laughs> I lost my finger. I like, help one more. Happen. I'm not one for tall guys, but after seeing Joel in his cowboy fit, I might have changed my mind on that. The trickiest part of still walking. Going through doors. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun one. Joel, you're so funny. Yeah. <laughs> we were wondering how you're gonna get out of there. That <laughs> <laughs> bad. You look fantastic, girl. <laughs> you ready to get into the stampede spirit? Yep, most definitely. Right. To cheer Joel on and experience a stampede for the first time, Joel's mom and brother Riley showed up for the fun. Every year, the Calgary Stampede has been launched by hosting a free pancake breakfast for the Calgaryan crowds of cowboys. Because the truth is, during Stampede, it is customary for every Calgarian and tourist to become an honorary cowboy for the week. And I gotta say, Joel is honestly rocking it. <laughs> I'm here for the free breakfast. Fun fact, the Stampede has been running for about a hundred years this year. We're definitely going to have to find some cowboy hats. Get in the cowboy Stampede spirit. This is so fun. It's probably almost like a competition between the different weeks. Who can make the craziest thing become the biggest thing for the Stampede? Flaming hot dill cook, dill cookie. Dill cookie. <laughs> That's me. Is that what you're gonna get, Mom? You're gonna try that? Pizza burrito ramen. No, this looks good. Well, I don't know. The Kool Aid hamburger sounded good. Flaming hot popcorn chicken poutine. Sounds like a ride. Habanero cherry ice cream there's taco. Like, there's like a flavor for every person. <laughs> yeah. The Stampede is a city's time to really rock its carnival spirit, and street performers of all kinds delighted us as we walked through Calgary's downtown. This is full on plastic. It looks really good on you. This one with all the holes, it's like absolutely not going to do anything. Absolutely useless. Fast food Canada. This is so cute. I would wear this, but it's out of my price range. You almost make the beard look great. Yeah, that one feels good. Look who we lost. This store just looks magical. Oh. oh, it smells so good in here. The search is over. I found my hat. Ta da! We are here to thrift ourselves some cowboy outfits. Find a hat? I found a Smith Belt hat. Look at that. And how much is it? 22 bucks. Look at that. Not Pretty bad. good. This is like probably a hundred dollar hat. Probably. Maybe. Do you feel like a cowboy? Um, getting there. <laughs> well, baby, think I need this. <laughs> so I'm here rocking my new Smith built hat, which I got at the thrift store. Right over here. This is where I think where they actually built them. Oh, so cool. Always oh, wanted to top hat. They are gorgeous. 
don't actually know what size my head is, but let's try this on. What do you think? Should I keep it? Well, we have moved into the room where things are going up in price. So we just stopped at the costume shop because my mom wanted to <laughs> take a look around. And I've never been here before. I guess what I found. Okay, I probably shouldn't have been buying more stuff today, but it is the hat. Smith built hat. I tried on at the Smith built shop for 20 bucks. That is insane. Okay, now we're late, so I gotta get rolling. <laughs> and Rebecca's waiting for us. But I've always dreamed of owning a top hat, and I'm so excited. That's probably not very cowboy ish, but. Maybe I'll be like the bandit guy with the top hat. I feel like an utterly fake cowboy. Yeah, because all those Calgarians are utterly fake too. Where's your plaid, Heather? You never brought your plaid? Well, I didn't know it was tradition. Tell you think you were going to the stampede. You look more stampede But I've got my plaid. You do? I have a bunch of more there you go. I've actually been on a horse before. There you go. Oh. Also heard some thunder, so it's a little bit of rain at a stampede. I'm hoping it rains everybody out and there's nobody there. Right. Then I get all the right stuff out. Rain in the distance. We made it to the stampede. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Free. But just so you know. Tim Hortons does not let its Canadian citizens down. Because this was free. Well, it's literally pouring rain right now. So this is fun. You happy you have a, a hat? This thing is perfect for the rain. I love the rain. Here we go, heads up. There we go. And then So I think I was not born to be a farmer because my allergies are going crazy. I'm just a sneezing away. After traveling the halls, it was time for me to rally the imitating cowboys to the feed troughs. Oh man, I've been trying to get everybody to go for food. I have a granola bar in my backpack, Rebecca. Yeah, I am not desecrating my empty belly. Wait, it's like vanilla bar. Cheesy queso burrito ramen. Okay. What'd you get, Emma? What'd you get, Rocky? Jill got flaming Cheeto chicken poutine. It's good? Okay, okay, okay. What's the verdict? I love it. I love yeah? it. What you got? This is the Kool Aid burger. Yes, okay. We gotta, we gotta see how this tastes. Nice, sweet, and a little bit of spicy sauce. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. It's like, it'd be kind of like a Korean fried chicken. Is it good? Oh, yeah? I think Riley made a good choice. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's That's good? good? Good fusion. Yeehaw. Okay, I think it's maybe just a cowboy hat, but for the first time, I can't stop staring at those. He looks so handsome with it on. Have we found him, baby? Yeah. We're here at Ogo Pogo Donuts to ignite your taste buds. First bite, first bite. Oh yeah. <laughs> Such in a bunch of powdered sugar. <laughs> oh man. It's oh, it should have so kept a should have kept a fork. Waffle taco shell, vanilla ice cream, habanero cherry sauce, dark chocolate, pop rocks. That is 
two balls across, so two balls in. Ten stack up. Whenever you get the two balls in, we add them up to see if it's over seven, under seven, or less, or less, or under seven. Oh, wow. Is it good? Yeah, no, let's get those last plays. Is it spicy? It's a little bit of spice. Okay. Laptop. Oh man, that's really weird. Look at that! We'll get soaked! Look how wet it is! We need six tickets for a carpet. You're not, you're not actually doing it, are you? Yeah, of course. There's six tickets each for yeah. the ride? Yeah. Are you serious? Did you notice how there was nobody on there? Why? Because it's freezing cold. Did you notice you're not a normal? Not a normal person. If we get twenty-two for twenty dollars, then all three of us can go. Let's do that. No, you're coming with us. What? That's crazy. Hey, we're literally leaving. It's like the last raw <laughs> stampede. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Thank you. How is this fun? Tell me. Goodbye Stampede, it's been good, 2023. Okay, but honestly, by far the best ride of the entire Stampede is the Niagara Falls. So, there you go. Glad I got to do it. Thank you, Joel. Van life breakups are rampant on YouTube, and with the stress of artist life and the desert heat baking us in our tiny van, we're left wondering, is our relationship doomed? Joel? Oh, what does Joel do? As soon as I start cleaning, he disappears. There's so much other van, but you have to put it on my pillow.